so hello guys in this video I'll explain how to install Kuja simulator on a virtual Linux machine so we should we need uh, one software called VirtualBox for running the virtual uh, Ubuntu machine so once the Ubuntu is up and running so we need to open the terminal And we have to run one command. We have to download the latest uh, Quantiki files to your system, or whatever the location you can go and you can change that. So I'm using my desktop only. So we'll let it download all the files. Okay, I've downloaded all the command, all the files. Now we have to just unzip the so we'll see what are what is downloaded. So there is one zip file. So we have to just unzip that zip file. Just unzip the zip file. Okay, that is done. So we'll see what is there. So we got the uh, quantity tools here. So we we can see all the files are downloaded. Now we have to run this command. Sorry, we have to go back and we have to run that command again. So that's done. So this is the first step setting the basic settings. Now coming to the next settings. We have to install run few more commands. We have to install some other packages and all. So just sudo you do and type your password. Press yes or Y. Let it install. Uh, okay, uh, that is downloaded and it's installed. So after that next command we have to run. So this may require around uh, 1 to 2 1 GB or 2 GB files are there. So be sure you created the uh, virtual disk with that size. Let's wait for the download and install to be completed. Yeah, all those have downloaded and installed. Now let's go to the next step. Now we can just try the uh, the installed Quantiki will work. So go to tools. Go to Kuja. Now we have to run that invoke the tool nt space run. So if this build is properly, then so we can see build is failed. So now what we have to do is we have to clone some files. We have to go to uh, so the next step I will tell is uh, I'm skipping the third step I'm directly going to fourth so we have to go to this location MSP sim and we have to clone that files to here so these are the latest files if if there is no files it seems there is no files here so we need to copy all the files from this link to this location so the current location okay so here uh, in this PC I did install the git so we have to add this command also to the step so good catch so this one we have to install the git so let's wait for the git to get it installed 
okay done then rerun the same command again okay it's cloning it let's wait okay everything is downloaded now we can go back to the same location uh, CD tools Kuja we have to go to the Kuja location now we can run the invoke the tool again if the build is success then it's fine okay again build fails so now we have to do the uh, third step because in some case that may work that's why I skipped the third and directly went to four okay the third step is we have to change the Java version and try so to see the present Java version so first we have to see it so this one is the latest version so we have to change to two the second one so for that uh, we have to select that number two with Java version is changed now again we have to run and see whether that is fixed or not yeah have you see that so the tool just got invoked so now we can go to the simulation we can create a new simulation test one don't change anything create go to modes add modes create mode uh, a new mode I'm going for sky mode and here go here and uh, go to examples so here is the location of desktop quantity examples here go with the uh, rhyme here I'm going for a broadcast to modes broadcasting it or a couple of more, more broadcasting some message and so I'm opening that C file so I'm going to clean and build that uh, mode with that particular configuration based on the C code so I'm creating that mode so how many we need so I'm going for five and I'm selecting the positioning uh, so I'm adding it okay this is the mode that we added so this will show the range or coverage or how much this is the signal range so this can be changed by uh, transmission ranges so this is 50 meter so what it means is this one grid is 10 meter so this is 10 by 10 one square so so we are randomly placing it and uh, to start the simulation we can go to start simulation so here we can see the log so this is fast so we are changing to speed limit 100 so what it means is the ID number 5 so the ID number 5 is broadcasting so message so in ID number 5 it received a message from 3 so this ID 5 got a message from 3 which is message is hello so like that uh, ID 5 got a message from 3 no 3 the message is hello so all these functionalities are based on the C code implemented in the mode so that's a small example and uh, setting up uh, a fresh Kuja's simulator in an open to machine so I will share the full steps uh, uh, in the description of this video so if you want I can go once more so we have to install the Linux we have to download the files we have to install the other libraries and other required settings then we have to again clone some missing files from the git then we have to run the tool and 
rest of the things is yours thanks for watching bye